Hey guys, hello everyone out there. Uh, this is Shubham. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing absolutely fine. Uh, today I chose a very important topic, very interesting topic from the gastrointestinal tract uh, that is diverticulosis, very important for the boards as well. So diverticulosis is actually the multiple uh, sac-like protrusions coming out from the colonic wall. Okay, and if those diverticulas, if those multiple sacs got inflamed, or if these multiple sacs are getting the inflammation, they will be calling it as, and this condition will be calling it as diverticulitis. So there are two difference. There is a difference between the diverticulosis and diverticulitis. So these two terms should be clear. So diverticulosis is that the particular uh, sac-like structures which are coming out from the colonic mucosa. That uh, that is the diverticulosis without inflammation if those diverticulos the is those diverticula are getting inflammation they then we will be calling it as diverticulitis okay so i will be trying i will try to show you uh, this situation with the help of diagram so if you will see over here i drew a very simple diagram let's say that this is the sigmoid colon over here this is the normal colon and this one is the diverticulosis situation so what is happening you can you can see that multiple uh, sac like protrusions are coming out okay if only one single protrusion is coming out then we'll be calling it as diverticulum if multiple sac like protrusions are coming out from the mucosa then we'll be calling it as diverticula okay and this whole situation is called as diverticulosis and if you will see that this diverticula will be getting inflammation then we'll be calling this condition as diverticulitis okay so i hope this makes sense now if you talk about epidemiology of the diverticulosis most commonly it has been seen that in 60 percent of the population it is seen in the older age patients mostly above the 60 years old right now it has also been seen that in the western countries population sigmoid colon is the most common location okay uh, for the diverticulosis and in the asian population asian countries population it has been seen that it is most commonly in the right side now if you talk about the risk factors, sorry, if you talk about the risk factors, age, first of all, if the person is getting uh, older, if the person is physically unfit, which is obvious after the age of like 60 years, right? If the patient uh, uh, is obese, is having obesity, okay? If the person is taking red meat diet, okay? And uh, if they are on the uh, low fiber diet, right? Low dietary fiber, uh, diet so in that case also this these kind of situations are more prone uh, for the diverticulosis okay about the pathogenesis this is the abnormal colonic motility okay abnormal colonic motility that will be leading to the colonic mucosa uh, protrusions okay that will be herniate out from the uh, colon right so what happens is while straining the sigmoid colon a wall may got protrude out they may got herniate and that condition is called as diverticulosis right so that is the thing. Now there is one term like false diverticulum. False uh, diverticulum. This is only covered by the serosa. Okay. Sometimes you may see the bleeding in diverticulosis, but it will be always a painless. So uh, most commonly, it has been seen that uh, accidentally you may came to know while doing other investigations that this person may have diverticulosis as well, and it is usually confirmed by the colonoscopy, which is the uh, gold standard for the diverticulosis. Uh, diagnosis right so how will the patient present to you how, what will be the presentation what can be the uh, signs and symptoms so symptoms usually are asymptomatic okay you will not be able to find sometime uh, that this person may have diverticulosis right sometimes there can be cramping bloating okay flatulence in the stomach there can be the rectal bleeding okay there can be the irregular movements in the bowels okay irregular defecation can be there so this can be the uh, uh, physical uh, this can this can be the presentation uh, how the patient can present to you while doing the physical examination you may find that there is a lower left quadrant pain okay there is a lower left quadrant pain and tenderness can be seen uh, while doing the physical examination of such patients uh, while doing the studies uh, while doing the imaging studies for the diagnostic purpose uh, often I, as i told you these are random and these are very incidental that you are doing other investigations and you came to know that this person may have the uh, diverticulosis and usually it is confirmed by the uh, colonoscopy right now colonoscopy is the gold standard first of all okay it allows you for visualizing the diverticula okay 
uh, and it also used to differentiate other kind of differentials for example the malignant cancer the any kind of malignancy colon or rectal cancer right now colonoscopy is not recommended in acute diverticulosis okay for the acute diverticulosis ct scan is the gold standard so ct con ct with the contrast is the gold standard for acute diverticulosis otherwise colonoscopy is the uh, gold standard for the diverticulosis okay what else can you do for the diverticulosis to diagnose it there can be the plain abdominal graph plain abdominal radiograph rather so uh, there you may find any sense of constipation right lab studies you may go for the cbc fbc complete or full blood count right uh, there you can see anemia because you have to find uh, uh, whether there is any kind any symptoms of or any signs of anemia because there are there can be the blood loss right due to that there can be anemia and the levels of the iron okay so there can be the iron deficient anemia too now <coughs> uh, what about the differentials so i told you diverticulitis okay and look for the colon or rectal cancer okay so for example in the diverticulitis diverticulitis you may see with the uh, the patient may present with the very severe abdominal pain with the fever okay which is not usually seen with the uh, diverticulosis because there was painless bleeding and uh, there was no fever okay as such for the treatment for asymptomatic uh, patients as i told you some persons may be asymptomatic for asymptomatic patients what you what you may do you just uh, don't need the medical treatment you may uh, treat them with the conservatively conservative treatment for example observe the patient carefully okay uh, for the complications and uh, the try to bring some uh, lifestyle changes for example uh, add some high fiber diet to them because it will try to relieve the uh, constipation right and if the person uh, is symptomatic which means in case of uh, some kind of diverticulum bleeding is there in that case uh, it resuscitate your patient okay make sure the IV fluids and all colonoscopy to uh, equalize the electrolyte imbalance right uh, so resuscitate your patient uh, colonoscopy gold standard right colonoscopy after the angiography can be there if colonoscopy angiography are not working for you then go for the surgery this is the last step for the diverticulosis right so yeah the last step is the surgery okay what can be the complication again diverticulosis can lead to diverticulitis otherwise uh, there may be the anemia okay what else can be there there can be uh, uh, one term a very typical term that is the exsanguination what is exsanguination it is the very dangerous situation it is the loss of blood to a degree uh, sufficient to cause the death okay so the blood loss will be continued till the death the exsanguination can be there diverticulitis can be there any kind of bleeding or hemorrhage can be there okay so if it, it if it continues and continues continues so that's why I resuscitate your patient resuscitation is very very important okay so i hope uh, it makes sense it, this was a very small talk about the very short or brief talk about diverticulosis i hope uh, you like this uh, make sure you like this video share this video and subscribe to my channel see you in my next one thank you so much